y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Julie and I make content mostly surrounding topics such as music, makeup, as well as mental health. As y'all know, I've been enjoying filming reaction videos. I know. Why is Danny DeVito here? <laughs> this is my partner's room and I am filming here today. So let's get into it. You all know I love Spirit Box. I got my merch on, my matching makeup. I am super excited and no, I have seriously not listened to the single yet. I've been holding off specifically for this video. I did look through the lyrics a little bit and it looks super cool, but I don't know what I'm in for. And we have a whole music video here too. So this is awesome. I'm so excited. Here we go. Courtney's so pretty. I love her so much.
Oh, okay. You know I like to do a wrap up. I don't want to just have this video be, there was my reaction and have a good day. Um, so I did see that the lyrics were down here and I looked through them a tad. I'm under the impression that Constance is the grandmother and that she's sick and that the family's talking about what are we gonna do next? She can't take care of herself at home. I'm just assuming from how things go for a lot of people later on in life. Of course, I don't know the true meaning of this song. Uh, however, give it up, I'm complacent, just enough to escape this. Heretics wouldn't phase me. So I don't know if these are Constance's words or if these are Courtney's words or someone involved, because anyone could be complacent in this situation, right? Because the elderly research shows one of the hardest things for them is not the fear of dying. They're kicking. They're not as afraid of that. It is the fear of losing their independence that is so ultimately terrifying. And so that could make sense that Constance would have to ultimately surrender her independence in order to be taken care of for the rest of her life and making that decision is really hard for everybody involved and I can see why you would want to escape such a stressful and upsetting situation of course losing a loved one no matter how old they are is devastating I don't want to make my psychoanalysis of this too long because typically with Spirit Box, I focus more so on I freaking love Spirit Box. I'm a fan. I love that this song has mental health aspects to it because there were a lot of emotions. So I can speak on how this made me feel emotionally for sure. Y'all saw me almost cry. Um, I will share that my grandmother passed away in 2013. I have two other grandparents still alive right now, um, and I was her only grandchild, so that's why it was a little personal for me and emotional to watch, because I remember when we had to make that decision for her too, but I'm not going to cry. Um, this is a very common experience for people, so I'm glad that it was showcased in such a beautiful way, and yes, there was nothing truly heavy about this song, but that's what I love about Spirit Box, is they're such a versatile band. Their instrumentation, of course, is on point. Courtney is so incredibly beyond talented because we know she masters those uncleans like no tomorrow. She has to be one of the strongest female vocalists in the metalcore scene. If not, just let's take her gender out and say she's one of the strongest vocalists in the metalcore scene and also happens to be female, so cool. Uh, but her soft vocals are haunting. That's why Blessed Be is my favorite Spirit Box song because it has all the stylistic elements. But I cannot wait to listen to this song over and over and over, even if it makes me think of my grandmother and makes me cry. That is therapeutic and it is okay to experience emotions and reflect on them and process them and grow as a human being. So I encourage you to listen to this song, get yourself all in your feels, go tell Spirit Box they're amazing. I definitely will today. This made my day. I'm so glad I was able to sit down and film. I'm going to stop talking now. Welcome. If you're new here, by the way, I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel as well. You can follow me on my social medias. My Instagram's Julie underscore counseling. My Twitter, where I'm the most active, is Julie counseling with no underscore. My Facebook page will be linked down below in the description box as well. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye all.